Football League. Now Brian Burns coming off the edge. Five and a half sacks in his last six games. Hodges wants to air it out. Caught! And into the end zone for a touchdown, Kelvin McKnight. 54 yards, Dave Archer. It's Hodges to McKnight, and the Bulldogs on the board first. By the fact he was going to come here and play in Dope Campbell. Trouble on the extra point. First and 15. Hodges pass caught at the 30. First down yardage. Well, you really have to trust your receiver, and he does with Kelvin McKnight. We heard Coach Hatcher, Hatcher tell us that earlier this week as well. Hodges avoided the pressure, dumped it off. It's complete to Miller. Well, how about the poise, Tom? The poise here in the pocket. Florida State's coming here. Hodges from the shotgun. Down near the goal line with Roland Adams, and it's a touchdown. From two yards out, number 20, Roland Adams takes it in. A stunning first few minutes of this first quarter. It is 12-0, Samford. Campbell, one of the more veteran players. Play on second down, Francois complete. It's Campbell again. Campbell down close to the 25-yard line for Campbell. They'll mark him out near the 27. 27 yards on that play. Francois, his pass is caught to the end zone, and a touchdown to Marion Terry with the grab for the Knowles, and they're on the board. 27 yards on the connection. Just 40% a season ago on third down, fifth of the SOCON. This one to an open man inside the 40, and running down the sideline is Andrew Harris. Finally forced out of bounds. To try to add three for the Bulldogs. From 30 yards out, Finneran's got it for Chris Hatcher. Four. Six carries for 15 yards in the first quarter for Florida State. Francois wants to throw. Puts some zip on that one at midfield, and it's caught in stride. Nyquan Murray and out of bounds at the 42. Francois complete, 35-yard line. And taken down shy of the 30 is Trey McKitty. First down from the 31. Patrick. Patrick to the 15. Leaps over the 10-yard line. Brown is in for Roberts. First and goal, Florida State. It's Francois untouched and into the end zone from eight yards away for the Knowles TD. His last eight passing attempts. Here's third and long. Hodges again with some touch running under it near midfield. And it's pulled in. Chris Schelling. What a beautiful throw, Tom. Hodges pass near midfield is caught. That's Williams. Williams to the 38-yard line, 11 yards, and a first down for Samford. Down. Two for four on third down in the game for Samford. Hodges throws it, deflected in the air, and intercepted. Westbrook running down the sideline up near midfield. Hodges had to make the play. A.J. Westbrook has his INT. Get his arm in there to bat it out. Look at that, a turnover backpack? The emergence of the turnover <laughs> backpack season ago in 31 TDs that led the conference. Hodges escaping the pocket and rolling right. Throws on the run, and it is caught at the 35. Two flags are out. It was Andrew Harris. Yeah, this is going to be pass interference. Nice job. They got five yards on that rush by Satine. Hodges to the end zone. It's a touchdown. Kelvin McKnight is second TD grab. And this one goes for 27 yards for the Bulldogs. 14, McKnight has caught a subsequent TD from Hodges. Over the middle, complete at midfield. And down to the 45, Nyquan Murray tripped up there. First down at 16 yards for the Seminoles. Well, it's added to a speedy receiver. From the 45 of Samford, Francois steps up. Has a man, 
Down near the 25 as Patrick absorbs some pad level contact. From 40 yards away. It is no good. Aguile misses from 40 yards out. And the celebration ensues on that Sanford sideline. Has been amazing throwing the football. This time he hands off. It's Adams. Dave, how about 20 of 29 as there is some activity post whistle. Florida State thinks it has the football. The officials are awarding the football to Florida State, and Cyrus Fagan came up with it. Time Akers, the lead blocker for Patrick. Seven carries and 25 yards for Patrick down near the goal line. It's a touchdown to Marion Terry. Able to hang on. He's got his second TD grab of this game. Although Francois slow to get up after the touchdown pass. 17 yards. Hodges had quite a half. 20 of 29, 317 yards, a touchdown and an interception for the two-time player of the year in the Southern Conference. And yep. his team, the Sanford Bulldogs, are going to go to the locker room, Dave, as the final seconds kick off the clock with a 23-21 lead. What a performance by both teams in the first half as we go down to Larisha Harris. A little bit. That missed field goal looming large right now. They want to move now with Akers. And he gets close to the 40-yard line. Aaron Harris on the tackle. Fourth and short. It is Akers driven back. Dave, he's back to the 40, and it appears that the Bulldogs have held on fourth down. Aaron Harris, number 34, right in the mix for Sanford. You and I are here last year against Syracuse, and he put on a show. This one is complete, second level. DJ Matthews in a first down. Is their look very much. Francois was pressured, he got it away. Akers, mid at the 35 yard line. Did the ball come out at the end of the play? Well, Akers certainly was scrambling for it. Looks it like is Sanford ball, Dave. <laughs> the week on Raycom Sports. We'll get it started at noon with the blitz. Here's Hodges facing some pressure. Tossed it. Intercepted. Taken back by Florida State. And Kyle Myers makes the interception. Yeah. Second of the game for Florida State. The two-point lead. They've got the football second and nine. We start the fourth. Hodges finds an open area and hits McKnight. 20 yards and a first down, Samford. Hatcher at Murray State and was also with Alabama for a couple of national titles. And this one is complete. On the run, Chris Schelling. Him against Miami in their history. Hodges looking for the big play into the end zone and intercepted. Kyle Myers, second pick, and that was an easy one in the end zone. Out of Doak Campbell Stadium, where Florida State wins 76% of its games. Big running play, DJ Matthews. Good run on first down. Akers, another big chunk on first down. We expect to see. Another run, Francois. Off the upright, no good. Bulldogs stay in front. Aguayo has missed twice tonight. First down from the 41. Hodges vacates the pocket, throws on the run. It's a dart and complete near the 40, right to McKnight. Interceptions tonight for Florida State. Hodges the handoff. Satine breaks away. To the 20, and he goes flying out of bounds. It is good. DeAndre Francois, a couple of TD passes, and a rushing TD as well. Akers catches it, runs with it past the 40, and up to the 45. Mark him at the 46, it's Cam Akers. Ejected for targeting. Earlier in this half, pass by Francois near the 30, 
And hauled in Trey McKinney. Good hands. 20 yards. Yeah, I love this guy. A couple of TDs as well through the air. Third and goal. Looking at the end zone. Pros in there. And it's a touchdown. He hits Trey McKinney for a five-yard TD pass. Now the book says go for two to make it a three-point game. Francois pressured, lost it into the end zone, and they converted. They've got the two to Murray. By heating him up. From the 25 on first down, Hodges pass. It's complete. McKnight, I'm sorry, I keep calling McKitty. Same number, wrong team. Over the middle and complete as Hodges was on the run. Inside the 45-yard line, and it's Kelvin McKnight. Scare in Mississippi State, losing 56 to 41. That's intercepted. Levante Taylor, he's gonna take it the distance. Oh, and you're gonna get a, a stupid play by a player in behind decides to take a shot at the quarterback, and this is gonna this is gonna come back to him. You got an illegal block. There's no foul on the play. Touchdown. Oh my goodness, that's, that is a... From the 28, fourth down with the Bulldogs. Hodges on the run. Throws an incomplete pass. You're dumb. Eric Dungy and that crew, with outstanding quarterback like they saw tonight. I think Willie Taggart will be thankful for the win, thankful that his team fought and hung together. But I think he will be the first guy to applaud Chris Hatcher's team and how well the Sanford Bulldogs played tonight. It's going to be a 10-point win, 36-26, as the final seconds tick off the clock.